On May 20th, Shenzhen's third tallest skyscraper, Sag Plaza, shook once again for the third time after similar shaking on the 18th and 19th. After the building shook on May 18th, the emergency response specialists said that the shaking was due to the combined effects of the wind, the subway, and day and night temperature differences, and is a rare occurrence. However, the building shook again on the 19th and 20th, as if it's not willing to cooperate with the experts' claims. On May 20th, a number of Seg Plaza merchants said that around 12.30 p.m., the 35th, 55th, and 60th, and many other floors felt shaking and security guards have informed merchants on higher floors to evacuate. In the afternoon of the 20th, some netizens mentioned seeing personnel conducting monitoring activities in the second-level basement. There is also a video uploaded by netizens showing a number of large trucks carrying building materials in the Seg Plaza. Various construction materials are also piled up on the ground floor of the building. On May 20th, the Shenzhen Seg Group issued a notice ensuring that monitoring activities of Seg Plaza are underway and is free from outside interference. Since midnight of May 21st, all owners, merchants, and tenants have been suspended from entering and exiting the Seg Plaza office building and electronic market, which caused much chaos. Many merchants rushed to carry their goods out of the building. In the evening of May 20th and on the 21st, the official Weibo of the Futian District Government, where Seg Plaza is located, released a message saying that on that day, Professionals have conducted real-time monitoring of the vibration, tilting, and settlement of Seg Plaza. The group said that according to the test data, everything is normal and do not exceed the corresponding limitations. Some netizens called into question the causes of shaking given by the experts. If the shaking was caused by a rare combination of wind, subway movement, and temperature differences, then why did it shake for three consecutive days? Seg Plaza has been in service for 20 years. There's been countless times with level 5 winds, subways passing underneath, and temperature differences of 8 degrees Celsius. So why didn't it shake before? The construction quality of Seg Plaza has since become a hot topic of discussion. The construction of Seg Plaza started in 1996 in order to complete it before October 1st, 1999, which is the 50th anniversary of the founding of the Chinese Communist Party. The construction set a record of 2.7 days per floor and finished seven months ahead of schedule. This was known as Shenzhen Speed and became the pride of China at the time. The Seg Plaza project was awarded the first prize in excellent engineering design by China Construction Corporation in 1996. It was also named one of the top 10 star properties in Shenzhen in 1999 and won the second prize of National Science and Technology Progress Award in 2001. Seg Plaza was given all kinds of praise by Chinese officials at the time. However, a 20-year-old master's thesis from Huazhong University of Science and Technology titled Shenzhen Seg Plaza Construction Project Review was dug up in the past two days and became viral on the internet, referred to as divine prophecy by Chinese netizens. The author of the paper, Jin Dian Qi, described her involvement in the whole construction process of Seg Plaza. While acknowledging the success of Seg Plaza in terms of construction speed and business model, she also pointed out some shortcomings in the construction process. For example, modifying the design while construction was underway, designing after construction, and starting construction before the design drawings were done. The paper pointed out that during the construction process of Seg Plaza, after the foundation was finished, complete construction drawings could not be provided when the bidding for general contractor of the whole project was conducted. However, more than 50 million RMB have been invested into the foundation in the early stages, so if the construction were to pause to finish the drawings, the financial cost would definitely increase. Time pressed, they used other structural drawings for the general contract bidding of the project. The paper also reveals that after the general contractor was hired, the construction often had to stop and wait for drawings, or redo construction after modifications of drawings. This had led to many unnecessary disputes and increased the overall cost of the project. The simultaneous design and construction of the project persisted until the completion of Seg Plaza. The paper mentioned that after the steel structure was completed on April 8, 1999, the construction of the antenna part was not completed until September 30th. When everyone relaxed and celebrated National Day, pedestrians saw that the antenna of Seg Plaza was swaying violently, even on a sunny day. It turned out that the antenna's design calculation error caused resonance. 
At that time, the construction and design parties immediately called in the entire crew and worked day and night to reduce the antenna by 26 meters, with no time to even set up any safety facilities. After recalculations, the antenna was reinstalled with 13 meters. According to mainland media reports, the author of the paper, Jin Dianqi, is now the director of operations at the Shenzhen Institute of Urban Public Safety Technology. This is an enterprise directly managed by the Shenzhen State-Owned Assets Supervision and Administration Commission, although she declined media requests for an interview. Zhang Zigang, the supervising professor of Jin Dianqi, said in an interview that Jin's major was business administration, not construction. At the time, she was working while doing her master's, so her thesis was somewhat related to the work she was engaged in. She may have some opinions, but it cannot be called authoritative or scientific. The recent developments of Seg Plaza's shaking incident have caused people to think about China's other super high-rise buildings. According to statistics, China has 40% of the world's high-rise buildings, including 2,395 buildings above 150 meters, 823 buildings above 200 meters, and 95 buildings above 300 meters, all three numbers ranking first in the world. Li Xiaojiang, former president of the China Academy of Urban Planning and Design, said, The building structure itself is a very complex project, and situations beyond our current understanding of nature may still occur. For example, the vibration problem of structures is a very complex theoretical problem that has yet to be completely solved. Therefore, my personal view is that there's no need to constantly challenge the height of buildings. He believes that the reason why China has built so many skyscrapers is essentially a problem with the allocation of urban land resources. The reason behind this is that many local governments, in order to attract investment, offer large areas of industrial land at low prices or even for free, resulting in a very high proportion of industrial land being occupied with a very low utilization rate. However, this decreases land for residential and commercial use, so many cities in China build extremely high residential buildings. In addition, land financing is an important source of local revenue, and the higher the plot ratio, the more expensive the auction price will generally be, which local governments are fond of. The higher plot ratios also generates greater profit for the developer, so they are happy to build these high-rise buildings. Some industry insiders analyzed that Seg Plaza is a typical example of China's large-scale construction projects, and quality problems are certain. Large-scale construction projects in China have the following characteristics. 1. The owner is a state-owned enterprise. Generally speaking, state-owned enterprises care much less about the quality of engineering projects than private enterprises. The first thing they want to ensure is political correctness. The owner of Seg Plaza is Seg Group, a limited liability company established in 1986 by four shareholders, including Shenzhen State-Owned Assets Supervision and Administration Commission, China Huarong Asset Management Company, China Eastern Asset Management Company, and China Great Wall Asset Management Company. The latter three companies are all under the Ministry of Finance. 2. The building construction unit is also a state-owned enterprise. And unless there are serious quality problems in major projects, the leaders of state-owned construction enterprises are generally not held accountable. State-owned construction enterprises generally have higher construction qualifications than private enterprises and are also more capable of taking risks. In addition, they have more financial strength and higher ability to advance the cost of project materials than private enterprises. The construction unit of Seg Plaza is the China Construction Second Engineering Bureau, a subsidiary of the central government of China. 3. The implementation of the do things simultaneously principle. Design, construct, and revise at the same time. The purpose is to shorten the construction period, save cost, and to earn reputation. 4. There are strong political implications. Construction of Seg Plaza began in 1996 and was completed in October 1999, seven months ahead of schedule, setting a record of 2.7 days per floor built. This served as a gift for the 50th anniversary of the Chinese Communist Party's National Day. 5. It is a face-saving project. Seg Plaza won the second prize of the National Science and Technology Progress Award. It's a cross-century landmark building is the world's tallest steel pipe and concrete structure building and was designed by the famous architect Chen Shimin. The above five characteristics are a common practice to ensure political correctness. Large-scale projects constructed by the government are required to use bidding to determine the construction unit, design unit, and supervision unit. 
However, the representatives on the owner's side generally tend to entrust the project to state-owned enterprises, so it's more politically correct. Even if there are problems with the quality of the project, what's backing them is the government, so generally they won't be investigated.